The last category, we have a lot of technology, mail lists, forums. We all know what the internet did for the Ron Paul campaign and the Obama campaign. They leverage it to the max. We need to leverage technology wherever we can. E-activism, blogs, social sites, websites, forums, or software, graphics, uh, YouTube, all these fall under technology. So all together, I pulled out five, well, let me go back. Uh, so supporters, we want our supporters to um, technology to learn how to use web and email to stay collected, connected, and to learn, um, and to learn the, the finer points of e-activism. <coughs> Mainly as a communication tool for our supporters to stay connected. Our activists, we want our activists to be on social sites, spreading our message, our message boards and forums, to be e recruiters and to have good research skills. Organizers, we want our organizers to be in the above web publishing, the authors, develop graphics, advanced researchers, and video web journalism. And our leadership, we want our leadership to recruit develop or be the webmasters, the moderators of software and technical training, and soft support and development to coordinate and integrate what we can where we can to make us better, to make us more powerful. So all together, the five skills I've pulled out that we can focus on or on training on. Activism, leadership, education, recruitment, technology comes up with a nice little um, acronym. Alert! So we can remember. Since I'm a guy, I like charts. I make a matrix here. Give it a name. On the left side, I'm going to put our categories of actors. Across the bottom are five skills. Now, I, I mentioned earlier, I've been very fortunate to have some very good mentors in the last year. And George Morrill is probably the top mentor in the state of Indiana when it comes to constitutional actors, in my opinion. And in the course of the last year, she, we would be talking about something. She said, Jerry, you've got to go read this. This is, this is Recruitment 101, or this is Activism 201. So, we're going to make it easier and give each of our levels a number level. Now, I take all of the, all of the 148 different things that I wrote down that we need to do and start laying them out by category of actor, and skill, and it starts to make a little bit better sense. And our supporters, we want them to lobby and elect. We want them to be civic leaders. We want them to be knowledgeable on constitutional issues, persuasive and compelling presentation for our recruitment message. And we want to have the tools, the, e the technology tools, that they can participate in e activism and stay connected. Does everybody uh, take a look at this? And, uh, I, am I getting it? Just make it sense. Are you all getting it? Uh, what we can do with the matrix, we can use it as a method to organize the material references. And I literally have collected hundreds, if not thousands, of links and references that we can use. For example, under Activism 101, I can create a reading list on the website and I can direct all of our supporters or new people that come to information and help them write better letters to elected officials and so on. Activism 201, even more, behind it. How do, how do you plan activism? What goes into planning and being an activist? You might notice on here, Alinsky's Rules of Power. If you haven't read this, you should. It is what the leftist does and how they've been successful. We can use as a method to track recruitment and individual development. If we do our job right, and we have a program in each one of these blocks that is compelling and persuasive, and someone comes to our website, hopefully we'll have to do very little. We'll lead them down the path of constitutionalism. Let's say, for example, John Public. John Q. Public is one of our rallies grabs a flyer, goes home and dials up our website. He goes to our introductory article where we've presented our compelling and persuasive message in Recruitment 101, and he likes what he reads. So he goes over and signs up to be an e-activist. Now this chart here 
when I first presented to some friends, they thought, well, people are going to think that they've got to go through and fill in all the boxes. boxes. Not necessarily so. At this point, I'm using this chart to measure how efficient my program is and where this person is moving through my program to what we need in his help throughout our organization. So John's come, he's read, comes back a couple of nights later, reads a couple more, learns a little bit about the activism and the technology aspect, starts reading the education material. Over the next couple of weeks, he reads more and more, and then he goes on, goes to a demonstration, starts participating in physical activism. And I'm going to leave John there. I had a lot more for John, taking John Clark up through organizer and into leadership. But as John gets involved in activism, he wants to get more interested, and he goes to our website and he pulls up the Activism 301, and he can see what skills we can find him the in, in instructional material that he can find out how he can be, be a better activist organizer and on across the board. Now, we have a problem. We have a lot of people in the movement that don't have a lot of time or resources or <coughs> just a specific focus of interest but don't know where they can fit in. And that's always been a conundrum with me. How can I get, I don't have a, we can develop an organization that will enable people to put in the time that they can, where they can, and when they can. We use John's wife, Mary, as an example. Mary's a stay-at-home mom. She joins John on the website. She goes to the activism, education, technology steps. Likes what she sees. John brings her to a rally. And we find out at the rally that before Mary was a stay-at-home mom, she was a webmaster and um, has a degree in marketing. Two skills that we really need. So we plug Mary right into the program, working with the leadership level of the caucus, supporting the webmaster in the four level, and supporting the committee and advising them on marketing tasks. So we have, I have a, we have a program that we know we need people. She has a specific skill. We plug her right in. We can also use the matrix to evaluate the final program. For example, leadership. We can focus on this entire column and develop a program. And when I started looking at leadership, it was something I knew that we, the whole movement as a whole, and really not only the movement, but our country, was lacking. I mentioned I've been through some leadership courses. Uh, in 1985, I went through the Air Force NCO Academy, a month long course. And then 10 years later, I went through, uh, uh, well, nine years later, an uh, advanced Boy Scout leader training called Wood Batch. Both taught the principles of leadership. Um, we don't see that in our country anymore, uh, unfortunately. Like I said, the principles of leadership is a science. You'll see anywhere between nine and 13 different skills listed, predominantly it's 11. Uh, the course I'm looking, I'm, I've got this from is uh, a website called whitestag.org. It actually began in 1959 uh, from a gentleman's master's thesis statement, and uh, in 1963 they started developing their program. They're still going. This program has been in continuous use and refinement for almost 50 years. 